The man accused of setting fires at several ambulance companies here in Connecticut is now back in Connecticut. Yeah, he arrived at the old Saybrook Police Department a short time ago. Fox 61's Gabby Molina is live there now with more. Gabby? Brent and Amanda, that suspect, 37-year-old Richard White, arrived here at the old Saybrook Police Department just about 20, 30 minutes uh, 20 or 30 minutes ago at about 5.05, .05, and we know that police escorted him in two police vehicles, and then we also saw a, to a tow truck that was pulling his vehicle. He was in Pennsylvania, in Cole Township, Pennsylvania, where he's been held in jail since last week, February 27th, where he's accused of setting fires to several different ambulance companies around the state. White is accused of throwing a Molotov cocktail at the Old Saybrook Hunters Ambulance Company here in town and starting a fire, but also accused of starting fires at the Hunter's Ambulance in Meriden and at the Roxbury Volunteer Fire Department. At that location, he's accused of starting two fires, one of which destroyed the company's PPE supply. Now, we know that uh, White is back here in Connecticut. He's set to be arraigned in Middletown Superior Court tomorrow, and he's going to be held on a $150,000 bond. So we'll be sure to keep you updated on that. Live in Old Saybrook, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News. Uh, Gabby, thank you. On the heels of a lawsuit filed by the Connecticut Freedom Alliance, a Hartford Superior Court judge